guys welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time watching my vlog don't forget to hit like subscribe and the notification bell for you to get notified with my upcoming videos all right so for today's vlog i'm gonna share you my shopee gadget purchase experience so because we all know na may mga nagtitrending talaga sa mga social media platforms na um, those people na bumibili ng gadgets online. So, there are some cases na when they receive the package and um, actually yung iba video pagka ino-open nila yung parcel sa harap ng driver and then you will be surprised kasi pagbukas nila nung box, ang makikita nila is either bato or kaho yung laman nung box inside. So, um, later on, I'm gonna share you also some tips on how you will not get scammed pagka nag-purchase ka ng devices sa mga online platforms like Lazada and Shopee. So, today, let's go ahead and start. Nag-purchase ako ng item sa Shopee and it's an Apple device. Pero, guys, wala po akong pang iPhone 12 for the meantime at hindi ko po kayang magbenta ng kidney. So, don't expect na it's an iPhone 12. Kahit bagong labas lang po si iPhone 12 kasi I don't have money for that. So, medyo risky kasi um, hindi siya cash on delivery. So, I purchased the device using Shopee Pay kasi I also grabbed the opportunity dun sa mga discounts and privileges na makukuha mo when you pay your order using Shopee Pay. So, aside from the free shipping, meron pang mga like discounts na makukuha mo dun sa um, device na binili mo. And actually, I purchased it overseas. So, um, let me check here dun sa, sa price sa phone ko, nasa front ko din. So, I purchased the Apple device on um, King Mobile PH. So, King Mobile PH yung pangalan ng store, pero they are from mainland, uh, mainland China. So, yun yung origin ng store nila. And actually, the device that I bought, it is not a brand new since this device is already uh, phased out. So, um, the one that I got is the 256GB and um, the price for that on um, King Mobile TH is 24863 So, ito na siya guys. So, nakabox pa din siya kasi i-open natin siya while on this video para... Kung sakali mang bato yung laman, may pork ako dun sa, sa sasendan ko sa customer support ng Shopee. Pero wag naman sana kasi ang mahal-mahal nung binayad ko guys. Ayoko makareceive ng 24,000 na bato. So, yun na nga. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Kung bato ba talaga siya o kung yung laman niya. So, pagka... Okay, so I have my cutter na. And again... Pagkabato yung laman niya, sabay-sabay tayong umiyak lahat, guys. <laughs> okay. So, ito na. So, actually, um, hindi naman to yung first time na nag-purchase ako ng device sa online platform. But this time, this is my second purchase online. And um, right now, sa, uh, sa Shopee ko siya binili. And just like what I mentioned earlier, um, this is a non-COD as I paid it first using um, Shopee Pay. So, bayad muna talaga bago nila iship yung item. So, ayun na. So, na-open ko na siya. Pero, nakita ko na yung logo ng ng box. Okay, ayan. Nakikita nyo. May logo na siya ng Apple. So, kita ko na yung box. At umaalog siya, guys. Medyo mabigat-bigat naman. So, tanggalin na natin. Galit na galit sa bubble wrap, guys. Okay. Check natin. 
Hindi makurul yung pattern ko. Parang way back sa pagkakraft ko ka sa cosplay ko gamit yung pattern na to. Okay. Guys, uy, nakikita ko na yung, yung picture ng phone sa box. Siguro based dun sa wallpaper niya sa box, you already know the idea. Na, this is an, alright. So, yan guys, so tulad nung sabi ko earlier, so wala po akong pang iPhone 12. So, hindi po iPhone 12 yung binili ko, kundi, yan iPhone 10. Okay? And, um, as you can see, actually, nagulat din ako na wala siyang plastic. So, pag open mo ng bubble wrap, is box na talaga. At wala siyang any seal. So, naka-open na siya, guys. Pero, considering kasi na actually, um, to be honest, declared naman na dun sa description ng store na um, it's a second-hand phone. But it's not refurbished. So, yun. So, hindi ko na talaga in-expect na brand new siya. Kasi, nasa description na yun. So, eto na guys. Parang hinihinal ako kasi. Parang medyo kinakabahan ako kung ano yung laman niya. Pero, guys, umaalog siya. Mabigat. So, eto na. Huwag na nating patagalin. So, ayan din. Okay. So, right now, when I open the box, what we have is, alright, hindi siya masyadong nakikita sa light. Pero, ayan, yung manuals niya, or yung lalagyan na ng manuals. So, oh! My God! Sige, mamaya ako napapakita sa inyo. So, ayan, nakakilig na ako, guys. <laughs> So, happy. Alright. So, ngayon, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, so, ito yung um, lalagyan na ng manuals niya. So, merong manual for iPhone 10 And then, ayan. So, meron din for, ayan, SIM ejector for Apple. Okay. And, ang nakalagay dito is designed by Apple in California. Hmm? Ay, mala. Wala silang nakalagay na assembled in China. Dati kasi yung mga previous um, Apple devices, like for example, yung mga um, iPhone 6 pa baba, minsan yung manuals nila may nakalagay na designed by Apple in California, pero may nakalagay na maliit sa baba na assembled in China. Kasi, I've been um, a previous Apple user talaga before ako nag-switch to um, Android under Xiaomi. Alright. So, ito na guys. ta -da! Oh God, ayan na siya. Oh. So, actually, I bought the silver. Silver yung tawag dito. Doon sa description nila. Silver, 256 GB. Ito na siya, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open the unit na. Ayan. Lumito na yung Apple logo niya, guys. So, nakikita niyo yung... Hi! Nakikita niyo yung camera ko pang vlogging sa, sa screen. Sorry naman. Okay. So, ayan na nga. And, um, aside from the, the phone, so, ayan siya. Wala ko sa siyang bumubukas. Ang sensitive naman niya masyado. So, ito yung laman ng package. Alright, lagyan muna natin yung phone dito sa table. So, this is the package na kasama ng phone. So, I have here yung normal na charger ni Apple. So, I think it's um the 5 watts charger. So, ayan siya. Parang feeling ko medyo slow mag-charge to sa battery ni, ni iPhone 10. Okay. And aside from that, here. 
So, there's the headset. Check natin. Kasi, ang alam ko, iPhone 10 no longer have an audio jack. Yung, like, yung bilog sa normal na headset. So, yung lightning uh, port or your char uh, or yung charging port is also the same with um, the headset port. So, as I can see here, same naman sila. So, tama naman yung na-receive kong um, head, uh, sa earphone. Okay, ayaw niya mag-focus. Sorry na. Nabago kasi yung phone ko pang vlog. <laughs> so, ayan siya. So, ito yung headset. And aside from that, ito yung kasama niya. Na charger, uh, charging cable. So, not sure. Um, pero sabi naman din sa description um, sa King Mobile PH na it's not actually the original um, the original accessories. Um, they uh, just call it um, OEM. So, original equipment uh, manufacturer, something like that. So, ganun lang siya. Hindi siya yung totally original na accessories ni Apple. So, ayan na guys. Alright. So, tignan natin yung loob ng phone. So, ang nakalagay dito is, yung software version niya is um, updated na to 14.2. Yun siya. And by the way, so as I can see here, considering na second hand um, iPhone na siya, so it shows here na yung battery percentage niya is um, 83% na lang. So, medyo medyo tagilid tayo dito guys so I'm not sure kung gano siya katagal bago malobat since yung battery health niya no longer meets um, 100% or kahit man lang um, 95% something like that so pero na nakalagay naman na peak performance capability niya is um, the battery is currently supporting the normal peak performance so yun siya and if in any case that you want to purchase the same device, so I'm going to put the link for um uh, for the shop King Mobile PH on the description below para makapili ka ng mga bibilin mong device sa kanila. Actually, they're no, uh, it's not only iPhone 10 na binabenta nila. So they also have um, the higher units which is the iPhone XS, XS Max, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 and then yung mga um, budget friendly um, Apple devices like iPhone 7 Plus pababa. Alright. And good thing, I think it's safe kasi there's no oh, so ayan there's no any Apple um, there's no any iCloud logged in. So meaning to say um, very clean talaga yung phone considering na it's second hand. Alright. So, yun na siya guys. Ang iintindihin ko na lang dito is yung casings niya. Since meron naman na siyang tempered glass. Okay? Alright. So, that's it guys. So, if in any case na medyo worried ka pa rin mag-purchase ng device online with um, Shopee or Lazada platform or any other um, online selling platform. So, I'm gonna share you some tips and ideas para hindi ka ma-scam sa pagpapurchase mo ng device. So, um, let's start. So, first, ang kailangan mong tignan. Whenever you are purchasing a device um, on Shopee or Lazada, make sure na you're buying a device with the store that has um, a badge on their name that says Laz Mall or Shopee Mall, something like that. So, it's, um, it's just like a red banner on top of the store's name. So, meaning to say, this is an authorized, uh, this is um, a, a legit, um, so the second thing that you need to check also when you're purchasing gadgets online is yung feedbacks coming from the customers. For example, um, nakita nyo na mostly ang ratings ng shop is um, 4.5 something up to, uh, up to perfect 5. So, 
you can uh, go ahead and purchase device na as long as you will be able to see some proof of pictures coming from those um, customers na nag-feedback. And then, um, actually, um, for the uh, for the second tip, so if in any case that you're not seeing any badge or um, any um, indication with the store's um, profile na they are um, an official mall, something like that, or a big store, so you can depend on the feedbacks coming from uh, the, uh, the customers or the buyers. Kasi sometimes, hindi naman lahat ng legit stores sa Lazada and Shopee were mostly from um, the big companies or the big malls. So, um, there are also some small sellers na legit naman and they actually provide what you are um, paying for. So, tulad nung pagbili ko ng uh, tulad nung pagbili ko nung iPhone 10. So, um, King Mobile PH doesn't have any badge. So, yun lang naman. And then, um, tip number 3 is, um, pagka yung price ng device is uh, masyadong too good to be true. So, meaning to say, um, usually, um, you need to check also on uh, marketplace or um, online shops or I mean online uh, groups kung magkano talaga yung uh, market value ng second-hand device, kung bibili ka ng second-hand device or pag brand new device. Make sure na makikita mo sa official page ng um, device store yung uh, talagang original price ng phone. So, um, a little bit discounts is just fine, lalo na kung may mga sales si official store. Like for example, with um, Xiaomi, so um, right now on 12.12, so um, the Poco M3 uh, original price is 6990 but they're selling it right now 5990 So with the 1000 um, discounts, something like that, so that's fine as long as makikita mo na magaganda yung feedbacks. Pero pag nakita mo yung price niya ng mga second-hand phones is usually yung parang bentang pamigay na lang. And aside from that, pag nasa description na it's a brand new phone, tapos nakita mo na yung price niya is almost half the price nung um, original price niya sa brand new, medyo magtaka ka na doon. Lalo na pag walang nakalagay na feedback or wala pang any ratings. Or aside from that, makikita mo rin if bagong gawa lang ba yung, yung profile ni store sa Lazada and Shopee. So pagka ganun sobrang kababa yung price considering na it's brand new or um, considering na it's a second hand pero hindi niya uh, namimit yung uh, market value ni phone sa second hand. So medyo magtaka ka na. Um, wag ka nang mag-place ng order sa store na yun. Alright, so that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. So again, see you next time with my next vlog. Bye!